Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 1, a post-nuclear role-playing game. A lot of you, a lot of you corrected me on that. I actually know that it's nuclear, not nuclear. I know that, and I think I'm saying the right one this time, which directly uh, protests against the fact that I know, but regardless... Yeah, I, I, I guess I just let it slip at some point, but I do know the correct terminology is nuclear, not nuclear. Uh, anyways, in addition to that, we've got some other updates for this series. Um, it seemed to be about half and half with the majority leaning to the side that they like the resolution. I guess it's for those of you that are watching on a, a much smaller resolution. You don't see the text boxes like this. It's really small for you, and I understand that. Um, I'm going to keep it the way that way for now, just because, like I said, it seems like the majority... Um, even though if, if I think it's just it's it's mostly split I think the majority likes where it is right now uh, if that remains a problem though in the future I will definitely change it if, if the vocal uh, majority hopefully uh, say that it's too small then I will change it uh, there was also something else that I wanted to say and I'm forgetting what it was what was it it was an update to this series oh well I don't remember anyways in the last episode we uh, went to the Rad Scorpion Den and cleared out all the Rad Scorpions, and it was pretty easy. Oh, I think that was it. I'm going to change the difficulty, I believe. Uh, we're going to head back to Shady Sands just to see if they have anything else to say, but I think we can go ahead and get a move on. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's go to Preferences, and Game Difficulty, we will switch to Normal. Combat Difficulty, we'll switch to Normal as well. Now, we might switch back down to easy, but uh, we cleared out those rad scorpions without an issue. And I feel like because we have Ian, we also are in a pretty good spot. So, let's go ahead and return to talk to Seth here, uh, who was the one um, with the rad scorpions. Our entire town is grateful to you for destroying the rad scorpions. Thank you. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing else. Thanks. Thank you, Seth. Okay, so nothing new there. And before we leave, let's check with the doctor. And let's check with uh, the leader of the town. I forget what his name is. And we'll see if they have anything new to say. Otherwise, I think we'll go ahead and move on to Vault 15, which will have been... No, the Rad Scorpion Den was the farthest I've ever been. So, yeah, everything's new to me. Um, okay, so one of these people is the doctor. I believe it's this guy here. Can I help you? Uh, let's see. Ooh, there we go. I have a sample of the Rad Scorpion poison. Can you do something with it? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this. Okay, hopefully we did get rewarded for taking some of those rad scorpion poison glands or tails or whatever back with us. Here, take this as a free sample. It seems to work well against rad scorpion stings, of course, but it shows much potential as a general anti-venom and poison cure. Okay, you gain 250 experience points for helping make the antidote. Oh, that's one of the things I wanted to mention. The rats in the initial vault uh, actually did give us experience, as a lot of you mentioned. Um, so we might return there, not to clear them all out, because I think we'll get way more than we need in terms of experience points. But uh, to return to the vault to, to get those quests, because apparently those guys will de aggro at some point. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I think we'll move on to Vault 15 for now, though. Uh, okay, so nice. We got 250 experience points, and I believe... Uh, how do I check my inventory? There should be a, a, a button that does it fast. What? Oh, I just switched weapons. Whoopsie daisy. You gotta remember that's what that does. Inventory. Do we have a uh, an antidote? Let's see. What is that thing? That looks like bullets. How do I look again? Yeah, those are bullets. And what is the milk... The BBs, yeah, the little carton of milk is actually BBs. Uh, we have some more scorpion tails. I think we took more than that. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that we do indeed have an antidote, which looks like a bottle of bourbon. But, hey, I'll take it. Okay, since we have two more scorpion tails, let's talk to this guy and see if he can... Uh, it's late, come back in the morning. Are you hurt? Uh, actually, we are hurt, but we could just use a stim pack. There is a way to wait until day... And I'm not sure how to do that. Is it? What is this? Save game, load game. No. There is a way. Uh, Pip-Boy, maybe that's it. Get the water chip. Let's see. What are these? Oh, the bell icon. I think that's what does it. Yes, rest until morning. There we go. Hit points, 19 out of 35. You know what? It doesn't matter. Maybe he will give us some more antidote. Maybe he won't. It doesn't matter. But let's see if we can get healed and how much it costs. Uh, are you hurt? Yes, I'm hurt. Great Brahmin, why didn't you say so? Uh, I did. Ouch, that looked... 
That does look a little painful. That will be $25. How many caps do we have? I don't even... Okay, here you go. You don't have enough money. I'm sorry, but my work ethic doesn't permit me to heal for free, you know. Come back when you have enough money. Okay. How about a rad scorpion tail instead? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this as well as heal you for this great gift. Oh, well, that works. This will take a little bit of time. Come relax in the bank while I work with the sack. Come relax in the back while I work with the sack. You might have a slight headache from the Janja juice. Janja juice as well. Come, come. I'm not even going to touch that one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he did heal us to max, though. So it looks like we can go back to the Rad Scorpion Cave, uh, get ourselves some Rad Scorpion Tails, and then trade those for free healing, which is pretty nice. All right, so last thing. Let's talk to this guy here. Aradesh, that was his name. Ah, things are much more settled now. Raslo has been working on a cure for the Rad Scorpion poison, and with that, we should be able to fight what's left of them. Okay. Um, you don't need to worry anymore. I destroyed the nest. You are truly a hero. Know that the people of Shady Sands are most grateful. Thanks. Can I ask you a few more questions, though? Certainly. What do you wish to know? Uh, that's it, actually. Thanks. Bye. Okay, unfortunately, no experience from that, but that's quite all right. All right, so we are done with Shady Sands, I think, for the most part. Also, a lot of you guys said this is where the NCR starts up. You guys know me, not the lore guy. Uh, I think I did... There's definitely got to be some Fallout New Vegas mention about the NCR starting in Shady Sands. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, apparently this is where the, the NCR eventually starts up. So the more you know. Let's go ahead and save the game. And uh, like I said, we could rev uh, return to Vault... 13, but I think we'll give it some time. For now, we'll head straight to Vault 15 and see what we have. And maybe we can find ourselves the water chip, although I think that would be quite fast. Okay, so over here will be Vault. What else do we have? Junktown, Raiders, The Hub. Um, let's go to Vault 15. I think we want to do that first, especially since it's second on the list. I wonder if this thing scrolls down, because if not, then we only have one, two, three, four, five, six locations we haven't discovered yet. Either way, let's go to Vault 15 by clicking it. I don't know if something's going to happen in the middle here like it did, uh, between Shady Sands. Okay, looks like it did. We have a, a, a random encounter, it appears like. You see an overturned truck in the distance. Okay, well... We can look at it. There's nothing out of the ordinary. There's something on the ground here, it appears. You see a crate. Okay. You search the crate. And in the crate, we have... What? 3,000 bottle caps? Uh... Okay, we can only take 99 at a time. Or 999 at a time. That seems like a lot. That seems like a very big amount of bottle caps. About the bottle caps, especially when healing only cost us 25. Although we put dollars. I'm assuming that means bottle caps. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll take that. What is this? I think these are just skill dexes. Can I, like, lockpick this? Is that what's happening here? What, what about... Oh, we're doing something. Crate looks healthy already. I guess I guess we just performed a, a a physical on a crate. Oh, it's Nuka Cola, by the way. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like a uh, a Nuka Cola truck overturned. Well, uh, awesome. Uh, I feel like we've gotten really, really lucky. In fact, I'm gonna save here too. I feel like we've gotten really lucky with our past two uh, random encounters. The first one being Doctor Who. The second one being three thousand bottle caps for free. Uh, sure. Sure, like I said, when I first streamed this game, like, the first random encounter was a, um, a bunch of super mutants that, that busted my ass. So, let's head to Vault 15. Let's continue our way. I don't think we'll have another random encounter. Okay, and now we click this, right? Vault 15. We get, like, a sort of map of it, and then we click the desert entrance. Okay, and I have, like, about one final tip for this game, um, outside of, uh what perks we should and shouldn't take so the final tip that i have researched is i believe regards in regards to this right here so we're gonna head inside and yes all right so we're gonna save right here because i have no idea what awaits us in vault 15 i'm assuming some bad guys i don't know what though this is the start of the game so i don't know are, are ghouls in this version maybe not 
you know? I'm not sure. Uh, either way, I think we want to use... Okay, you see a ladder. Wait, a ladder? I don't think we want to use the ladder. I think we want to open up our inventory, find ourselves that rope that we had. There we go. And use it somehow? You see scorpion tail. What? No, what did I just do? I moved it all the way to the bottom. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how. This probably drops it. Okay, let's get out of here. Maybe if we just activate this, let's see what happens. Did that use the rope? Maybe we maybe we use the rope a little bit later. Okay, so we still have our gun, and I'm assuming we have a ton of ammo because we didn't run out of ammo before. Now, each of these rats should give us a bit of experience, but let's see how much. Ian, what are you doing, my man? You gotta come over here. Okay, um, let's switch this over to combat. Oh, there's a rat right here. Okay, cave rat was hit for five points. You need five action points, so again, we want to run away. Ian, you need to get your ass over here, dude. We're going to end our turn. Oh, crap. No, we got another turn. I just wasted it, I think. Okay, shoot the rat again. Out of ammo. Not good. All right, let's switch over. Could have pressed B as well, like I said before. Okay, we have a 47% chance to hit. She looks almost dead. Cave Rat was hit for three points and was killed. Nice. Although it's not saying that we're getting any experience. Ian, what are you doing, dude? I need you to come over here. There we go. Yeah, you've, you've got tons and tons of ammo. Oh, there we go. You are victorious in combat. You earn 25 experience points. So, yeah, we get 25 each um, from each of these rats, which I don't know if that's worth it, but I think we'll clear out. There doesn't seem to be too many in here, and they're obviously pretty easy to kill, even if we're just attacking with a knife. Look at that. Yeah, they, they seem to have, like, seven or six hit points. Um, so, let's go a little bit closer. He hit me for four hit points. That's a lot for a little rat. Okay. The inevitable, mi uh, the inevitable miss happened, but we get to attack multiple times in one turn because we have the knife, which uses three AP, and I think we have just enough for one more attack. Ian missed! Ian reloads the 18 millimeter pistol. You were hit for three hit points. Okay, we're already taking a lot more damage than we were on easy difficulty. Yet the rat is dead. So let's move around, uh, around here and see if we can find any sort of hidden stuff. Doesn't look like it. I see another rat. 50 experience points, but that's because we killed two rats in one combat situation. Okay, once again, I don't know if it's smart to take on all these rats, but it's, yeah, it looks like they each have six hit points. Okay, so we've got three more in here. Target out of range. Okay, let's get a little bit closer then. And we don't have enough to slash at him, so we're going to have to uh, move away and then end our turn. But it doesn't matter because he's close enough to be able to hit me. Yeah, we're, we're already taking a lot of damage here, which I do not like. And hopefully Ian cannot hit me from the back. Come on, man. It's like close to 50%. Okay, the rat missed too, luckily. What is Ian doing, man? Come on, Ian. You were, you were the MVP before. Now you're just chilling back there. Let's go, Ian. Yeah, just take your sweet-ass time. Okay, rat, where'd you go? There you are. Okay, hit us for one hit point. We really have to watch our HP, because I'm sure this game doesn't give us a Pokemon-esque... ...when we're getting close to dying. Come on, Austin, dude. It's, it's close to 50. Yeah, it's a little less than 50, but let's go. Okay, I think Ian's out of ammo as well. All right, some more experience points, and one final rat remains. And I see some bears or something in there. I wouldn't be surprised if those were uh, mole rats. What just happened there? You critically met. You critically missed and hit randomly. Okay, was not aware we could critically miss, but there we go. Oh my gosh, Austin. Forty-seven percent. This doesn't make sense, dude. Okay, looks like Ian does indeed still have ammo. Okay. All right, all the rats are dead. We're at 25 HP. I'm not going to use a stim pack. I'm going to assume we can move along without having to use any health items for now. The vault door is open. We can just walk inside, and there's something in there, and I'm not sure what this thing is. That looks like a bear, though. Um, let's see. Maybe we can look at it. It is a mole rat. Okay, I figured. Oh, and we have a ton of rats. Well, this is unfortunate because we have to get up close and personal with our knife. So... What I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna move backwards. The bear should chase me while Ian lights him up a bit. Ian critically missed and lost the rest of his ammo. Ian! Oh my gosh, dude. Wait a second, can I reload? Is that is that why I still have certain amounts of ammo in here? Yeah, like I have that right there. The pistol's empty. So how do I reload? Yeah, there must be a way. Uh, if we switch back over to this and click it, does that work? Out of ammo. Okay. Well, I, this should work right here, right? Move items all? Does that work? Is that how we reload? Looks like it. Can I do that again? All? Okay, looks like the number's remaining the same. Did I reload? You need five action points. Okay, cool. Well, let's wait out the rest of our turn. Ian still has ammo. I'm not sure how the ammo works with uh, NPCs. Okay, now let's switch back over to the gun. Yes, okay, that's how we reload. All right, cool. Hit for 10 hit points. Okay, we don't have enough to shoot again, so let's move backwards a bit. Don't know if Ian can die, like I said. Come on, Ian's missing all over the place now. Come on, Ian. What are you doing, dude? Okay, Mulrad is dead. Wow, that went easier than I thought it was going to be. That went easier than I thought, is what I tried to say there. Uh, let's actually loot the mole rat and see if he's got anything. Probably some mole rat meat, I would imagine. You cannot get there, okay? The mole rat has nothing. All right, we're gonna save yet again. Uh, someone said, actually, the quick save is F6, I think. Wait, they could be trying to trick me, though. Let's just save normally for now. Let's press F6, what does that do? Well, just like, yeah, it opens it up. I don't know if there's a hot key to actually quick save. I assume there is. All right, well, we have a ton of uh, pistol ammo, if that's the case. You see doorway. Yeah, that's, what an interesting doorway. Oh, wow, that was like a negative 9% chance to hit. I thought it was Ian for a second. Okay, nice job, Ian. I wonder where it says, it probably says our, uh, our level up status at some point. Or somewhere probably in the uh, character menu uh, yeah experience 2315 next level 3000 it, it seems like this game is not or this game is stingy with the uh, levels okay, did you get them got to look at these messages down here you notice that there is a wall locker on the east wall just like in your own vault Ian missed and then Ian killed him and we earned 115 experience points, I guess, including the, the cave rat. Okay, so there is a locker in here that we have to remember to loot. Now, moving on. Someone said there was a way to actually activate combat whenever we wanted to. I forget what how they... I forget what they said to do that. Okay, anyways, moving on. Let's see. Let's go over here. What is in here? You gotta show me the walls, man. I can't see anything. It just looks like a, a normal... Is there, like, something I can... You see doorway, elevate. Oh, there's an elevator shaft in here? Oh, I think this is where we need the rope. The elevator shaft is not easily descended without a rope. Well, I can't see the elevator shaft. What am I looking at? We have a rope, obviously. All right, well, we'll deal with that later. I think we're going to try and kill everything in... Uh, in these dungeons just to get us more experience, obviously. Can we interact with any of this stuff? No, not Austin. Don't want to interact with myself. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot you, little buddy. Down you go. Can I shoot you too? No, I'm gonna have to run away a little bit. Okay, Ian, what about you? Light him up, buddy. Okay, or just walk in and walk out. That That's also cool, that's also cool. Okay, what's our chance to hit this? Yeah, see, there, there should be a way to interact or to activate combat from afar, but I'm just not sure how. Took one hit point of damage there. Yeah, because we're taking a lot of free damage otherwise. We don't have enough to shoot this thing. So wait out the rest of our turn. Yeah, that would be wonderful if I could just go ahead and start combat. Because I'm taking free, free hits all over the place, and it's not cool. Okay, down goes that rat. We have one more rat. I think we'll kill him, and then we will end the episode. And next, In the next episode, we'll explore the rest of this. And I'll also figure out how the hell to start shooting something from afar. Because it's just like you right-click to cycle through your um, reticles, but you don't get the attack reticles, so it's pretty lame. Okay, so bye-bye. And that is everybody. We should go ahead and get experience, because I think that's it, right? 
Experience, please. Need to wait out our uh, yeah, we need to wait out our turn. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at how close we are to leveling up now. 2,500, so we need about 470 points until another level up. And that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really liking how this game's going. Uh, I think I got the hang of it now. I just need to figure out, like I said, how to um, start combat because obviously we're wasting a lot of health points here. Uh, but other than that, this is actually fun. This is something that's doable. I remember the last time I played this, I was like, I don't think I could even play this. I, I think it's going to be so hard to learn that it's just not going to be fun for me at all. But it's much easier than I originally thought. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Thank you to everybody that likes the video. You guys help me out a lot. And if you want to interact with me on a deeper level, check out the streams. And that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.